my name is Xavier Sahert. Um, I graduated as an uh, MD in 2000 at the uh, University of Leuven. Um, and after that, I enrolled in a residency program. Um, I was a resident in uh, anatomic pathology or surgical pathology. It's uh, all the same name. And I combined my residency with a PhD. Um, and um, one year of my PhD I did in the States already uh, at New York University. And after I finished my um, residency and my PhD, I decided to go for a career in, uh, at university, at the University Hospital, uh, being the University Hospital of Leuven. So I stayed uh, where I was uh, educated. And um, because of my um, choice for an academic career, um, it was advised by my uh, senior professors to spend some more time uh, in the States to establish some contacts and to uh, uh, get some feeling with the uh, uh, international pathology world. So I stayed for three months um, at uh, Well Cornell University um, in the center of New York. Uh, it's a very small period, but it was um, a special research uh, a teaching uh, grant I got from the Fulbright. So the main goals I set up for my stay in the States were mainly um, to do some research, um, to start some research and uh, mainly establish research contacts. Because of course in a small period of time, like three months, it's not possible to do a lot of research. You can just start some research projects. Um, I was also able to establish some contacts. Um, I stayed at Well Cornell uh, University, which is um, one of the main players uh, in medicine in the world. So there you get the chance to get in contact with people who really um, are leaders in the field. And because they also have a very uh, big network with other people, um, you get a chance to be part of that network. Um, I think also last but not least, um, of course, the chance of uh, being able to live in a city like New York um, it's also something that one has to keep in mind and it's very um, inspiring. So for people who um, would also want to go to the States um, with a Fulbright grant, I would advise them first to um, start doing the research very early, that they know what they, what they want exactly, that they uh, get in contact with the people at the, universe, at the different universities that they are going to apply for. Um, and once um, they get a grant, um, I think the only thing I um, felt I had to do immediately was to look for uh, housing because it's not always very easy because you have, uh, of course, sometimes university um, will have some housing available. In my case, because it was only for three months, that was not possible, so I had to go look for um, some off-campus housing. But even in that case, if you have some contacts in the States, um, they can help you and they will direct you um, and give you all the good websites and, and so on. So I think that... Um, while I was a little bit nervous about the whole process, in the end I was helped a lot by many people and um, it was actually very easy. Uh, so I went off to the States and everything went very smooth. So I think it should be the case for everybody.